Well, welcome back everybody. How are you? I know it's been some time since I've been on here. The summer's been kind of crazy. Uh, professionally in the um, housing market, it's just been uh, it's just been crazy. So um, I do am coming at you with a really cool uh, new uh, pneumatic uh, gun for me. Uh, I've been driving screws forever because uh, I was never really good at driving nails like a boss. I just wasn't. So I went out and purchased this. This is the Makita. Okay. This is the AN 924. I think it is. I don't know. It's the 21 degree AN 924. Okay. So that's what this is. So it's a it's a 24 degree framing nailer. Um, and I wanted to give you kind of a first impressions on it and all that kind of fun stuff. So let us get in a little tight. We can see what uh, what's going on here, and uh, and see some of the things that I that I liked about it, and why I chose Makita again. So let's get in there and see what we got. All right, so we have the AN924 uh, pneumatic uh, air nailer. I first started out on one of these. Okay, this is a pass load impulse uh, gas and um, battery powered nailer. Uh, I do like on the uh, on this one that's it's very uh, aggressive uh, tooth on it. The problem I had is the batteries and the gas. I, I, you know, I'd always be out of batteries or I'd always be out of gas. Uh, and now this thing has stopped working. I've taken it apart. I've cleaned it. I've done all that kind of stuff. It only holds one thing of uh, nails. Uh, I never really, I liked it. I never really fell in love with it uh, throughout. So, I finally picked up one of these. So let's let's get in tight to this AN924. All right, so what we have on this AN924, what a lot of the industry guys have used over the years is the standard Hitachi uh, framing gun. Um, and that's been very, very, you know, that's been a staple of the industry. And again, I've chose Makita. Uh, you know, you guys know my love of uh, Makita. Uh, I think they've done, again, another stellar job in uh, this pneumatic nailer. Now, why did I do pneumatic now? Well, the pass load gave up the ghost some time ago. We were doing a framing job, doing the fence job, actually. And um, the screws were not fast enough, um, and it just needed to be nailed. So uh, I used... My buddy's gun, and I said, you know, if I'm showing up to the job, I need to show up to the job with my own tools. So, this is what we did. So, um, a couple of things that stood out to me on this Makita that the Hitachi didn't have was this hook. Okay, the rafter hook that's there. You guys can see this rafter hook. It is in the middle position. Okay. There are two positions that are on here that you can move it out to a double um, two by. Um, it's nice and lightweight. Uh, I like that the vent for the exhaust is out front. The ability to sink, okay, how deep this sinks is by this adjustment, okay. This is the adjustment for that. You loosen these two up, screw this down and out of the box sinking two and three quarter inch uh, nails was uh, very spot on the ability to to um, clear whatever uh, the jams are um, I haven't I haven't played with it too much but this does not look like it is going to be an easy thing looks like there's two things I haven't messed with it so uh, I gotta play with it some more I like the ability that you can just throw this switch from single actuation to bump fire 
Okay, that's very simple. I do like the overmolded grip that's in here. The trigger feels nice. Uh, I mean, again, because it's new, it's not broken in. It doesn't have several thousand actuations through it. Um, it's nice uh, and sturdy. It feels good in hand. Um, the other thing that I liked about this over the Hitachi was that when I go to bring this back and lock it into place, I can throw two sticks of nails into here. Okay, and these take the um, okay, they take the um, collated full round head nails. Okay, so these just happen to be um, uh, ring shanks that are in there, and you can stick. Um, it helps if I put them in correctly. Yeah, I put them in correctly. Okay. okay. And then once it's in, it's easy to get those in. Um, let's, uh, it's pretty lightweight, uh, 21 degrees, so it gets you into any, um, any situation. I'm not sure if I'm liking the the hook placement I don't, um, I have to play with it some more and see where it grabs me right now if I'm flipping this it's it's kind of whacking me a little bit so again I got to play with that some more um, it does come with a little bit of oil okay and we'll talk about the compre the compressor com the compressor later because that changed as well uh, but you put one or two drops of oil in this thing ever ever slightly and um, away you go it lubricates all the insides and all that kind of fun stuff but uh, let's see if I have something in the shop that we can uh, shoot with this really quick I'll be right back all right so I just have a couple of scraps that are out in the you know the wood pile so we'll uh, put that in okay and let's see what we can get here so right now it's in the bump fire situation okay you guys can see that we're in the bump fire switch finger doesn't go near that doesn't go near that trigger until you're ready okay to fire so down we go and then in so um, does very well now if we change this to a standard fire we can only press the trigger in and it will not go okay so what you have to do in that sense is put the nail gun in, pull the trigger, okay? The thing that I like about this over the, um, the Hitachi um, and using it, the Hitachi had a really big bounce to it. And you could very easily, if you limp-wristed it, you could... Yeah, see, I can't even get it to bounce. Okay, so the Hitachi version of this, when you went that, it would very quickly bounce. Well, this doesn't, and I kind of like that. So let's take this into the bump fire and see if we can do the bump fire where it bounces. Okay. You can if you limp wrist it, and I'm barely holding on to the gun. I'm wanting it to bounce. But you'll notice I only had one of these, okay, where it didn't go. But all of those, it sank. It's a little deeper than what I want, so i got to play with this a little bit. And this 2 by is going into a one by, so that's not a very good accurate test. Um, I do like the aggressiveness of the point itself. It's nice and aggressive. It holds. It digs well. I like that it's small. In the, in the actuator, okay? I like that this is, okay? It's very aggressive, but it is very narrow in its size itself. So that's very good. So I have to play with depth adjustment. Um, and I have to look in the manual for that. Again, this is just first uh, impressions itself. I like the fit and finish of it. It's very nice. We have to get this a little dirty a uh, little bit for it to work, but this is the uh, AN924 from Makita. 
Okay, so the A924 from Makita. Um, I'll be happy once I get this out on the uh, out in the field. Um, I always have a tr I always have a problem of getting out into the field and forgetting to turn the camera on or forgetting to bring the tripod or doing whatever what we have to do. But um, I can't wait to get this out on the field uh, on the job site and uh, work this and see how well this does. Um, for all intent and purposes, it's 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 very comfortable in hand. I think the Hitachi might be a touch lighter, but uh, yeah. So it's the um, it's the Makita AN nine twenty four framing uh, framing gun twenty one degrees. So you have to get a uh, twenty one degree collated round head nails. It's not a clip nail, but full headed nail. Thanks for joining me. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have any questions, please drop those comments below. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, and if you like it that much, send out a, send out a uh, share if you would like. Thanks, guys. We will talk to you later about this. And we'll talk to you later about the air hose that's going to attach to this and also the compressor. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for this first impressions of this Makita AN924. We'll talk to you. Bye-bye.